this mom uh, doing my skincare routine. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you don't. Girl, do what you choose, okay? I don't know how you pay your mortgage. I don't know. I can't even describe it. I love outside. This shit crazy. Most of the time. Hi, guys. Welcome to Athens. This is when the game is canceled. Really? Hey good people, it is Tashire from Politics and Fashion here today with part one of the Grease vlog. That's right good people, we are about to get another stamp in the passport and we are headed to my, what will probably be my one true vacation of the year and that is to Greece. Now I've traveled a bit this year but it's kind of been either for work or it's been like part of a work trip. For example, my trip to Punta Cana was right after I had come back from Miami for swim week. So it just feels like this is the first kind of separate trip that doesn't have anything attached to it. It is just for pleasure. It is going to be a two week long vacation and y'all, I'm not one for long vacations. This is new to me and so I'm super excited. But as you can see, we're currently not in Greece and that is because we're going to start the vlog here. I'm splitting it in two parts. The first part is going to be me prepping and getting ready for the trip. I asked you over on Instagram if you wanted to see how I pack for a long trip and so I'm definitely going to give you some tips for that. I realize that some people get ready for a trip and they buy all new clothes and uh quite honestly I'd rather spend my money when I get there. Preferably on food and cocktails okay. <laughs> And so I really am going to maximize what I have. Also, we are taking two flights like intra-country. Um, and those flights, they're small planes. Our suitcases cannot be any larger than 40 pounds. And you know, in the US, it's 50 even more if you fly internationally. And so I've got to pack light. I um, mean, I want to show you all how I do that while also having some stunt pieces, having a little bit of style, having a little flair, okay? And today I'm headed down to the Smithsonian where I am going to be moderating a panel with artist Ayana Jackson and three fashion designers. It all surrounds Ayana's exhibit called From the Deep, which is about this concept called Drexia, which is kind of this underwater celestial world that is filled with people who either jumped over the boat during the Middle Passage or were pushed. And so the idea is, what would blackness look like underwater? It's this whole kind of Afrofuturistic vibe. And so if you were in the DMV, definitely go take a look at it. it it is phenomenal and the pieces that the designers worked with her on to kind of um, create these tremendous fashion dresses and the I can't even describe it head pieces you just gotta see it I will do my best to capture some content here and so we're going to moderate the panel um, you'll see a little behind the scenes of that the models getting ready etc and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back to you we're going to pack together I'm gonna share some packing tips Monday we are off to Athens we'll spend a few days in Athens before hopping over to Mykonos and that will be part one of the vlog part two is gonna be the rest of Mykonos and Santorini Yes, we're all over Greece, okay? We're gonna be visiting three cities together. So let me hop out of here. My Uber is awaiting me. The chariot is downstairs, and let's go. self-care morning this is delicious um 
So uh, I ordered Starbucks and DoorDash, which is triple the price. And Starbucks is already expensive. This is why my mom is on me about saving for retirement because I spend all my money on frivolous things. But YOLO. <laughs> Me enjoy my $25 Starbucks. I shared this drink on IG, uh, but it is a caramel macchiato, no whipped cream on top. Instead, I get the matcha cold foam, and I make it with oat milk. Uh, this is my first time getting a tall, so I feel like there's something about the sweetness that's concentrated. So if I get this size again, I probably would get less vanilla syrup. But honey, that matcha on top sets it off. Yesterday was such a treat, y'all. I mean, you would have seen... The panel with Ayana Jackson, Rama Dial, Robert Young, and Cheddar, uh, who is from Nigeria. We had two guests, actually. Robert was also remote, and he was in Paris at a trade show, but he's from Trinidad. And just to hear how Ayana speaks about her work so beautifully. If you are in the D.C. Metro, please, please, please check it out. I'm sure this I exhibition will travel because it is phenomenal. Um, Ayana became a certified dive master in order to um, film her work underwater. And at first she was saying that she was kind of close to the surface and the pictures were too bright and she wanted them to be very dark and to really capture this underground world of Drexia. And so she did 200 hours of dive instruction and just the courage behind that and the commitment to the art, for me, it, it, she's in my top 10 now. She's in my top 10. Um, I love art, I love artists. I just love the whole entire creative process. And I have so much respect for their work, especially when it's at this level. So I was wearing a piece by Rama. Rama, Robert, and Cheddar also showed their work yesterday. Um, I love Rama's pieces. I absolutely love them. And she showed one piece that kind of had a, um, like this bodice, this bustier sweetheart top. And then it went out almost Victorian style, but it was in this indigo mud cloth. So talk about the duality of having something that is African centered and focused, but also kind of that nod to British colonialism. I just think, be up here for me. They really do be up here. Um, so I am very excited about that. Pooks is coming in to harass me. All right, <laughs> we're done with the harassment. Um, and y'all saw me get up this morning. Um, I have been using these shower kind of steamers. So it's a block about this big that you all saw. And it's eucalyptus infused. And you put it in the shower and it emits the eucalyptus. It's by Karen's Essentials, a black-owned brand. I also use Karen's soaps. I will link it down below. It's just such a luxurious way to start your morning. And I am filming this on Sunday. And for me, Sundays are my self-care day. I also did a mask by The Poor Professional. Uh, it's actually by Benefit, but uh, the line is called The Poor Professional. If you are somebody with oily skin or skin that's prone to congestion, I think you'll like this. The thing that I love about it, as soon as I got it, y'all, they sent me this. It doesn't really have a fragrance, but the fact that the slip on it is so good. And if you use a lot of poor um, clay masks, what you know is that it can be kind of hard to get them on. Um, and this just kind of glides on your skin. And so I love that. Um, but I'm a little greasy, as you can see, because I also want to put some moisture back into my face. Uh, typically, I would use very moisture-rich products at night, but I'll be home today, so it's fine to use it today. Um, I followed it up by the Active Treatment Essence by Bittner's Daughter. This is a little pricey. She's a little... Mm. Uh. This is Mackenzie's mom uh, doing my skincare routine. <laughs> yeah, Travis is at the gym and I just decided let me take care of myself. No, in all seriousness, it's a little up there, but Vintner's Daughter has some of the highest quality premium ingredients of all skincare I've ever tried and so love that. Um, my eye cream for the day is by Cora Organics and I love it because it is on a roller ball. I got that from Sephora. 
And the reason you see this glow is because of the youth to the people superberry hydrate and glow dream oil and so that again is something that i use to help hydrate my skin it is a myth that oily skin does not need moisture in fact our skin can produce excess sebum and be even more oily if it is not hydrated so um, on a day like this i'm definitely going to get all of my moisture in now girl let's do this hair you know i got bundles Bust down middle part. And y'all ask me all the time what I do um, for my hair. So, three step routine, good people. I'm gonna say four because I do wash my hair typically with conditioner only in the shower about four to five times a week and I brush the conditioner in. Um, that's a good way to train your hair to stay flat. If you have hair like mine, which is definitely type like, I don't know all these numbers y'all. I feel like it'd be trigonometry sometimes. 4B carried it to, it's African, okay? Um, and so uh, if you have hair that is more of a tightly coiled texture, doing something like that helps to train your hair to lay once again. Outside of the shower, what I do is something called the lock method, which I'm sure you all have heard of before, it's natural hair girls. Um, but it works well for short hair as well. So it's a leave-in, it's an oil, it's a cream. Now, the... Um, Leave-ins, I've used everything from like rose water and I usually put a little bit of um, essential oils in there. But I was sent this Vegamore leave-in conditioner. And this is definitely probably not a product that is made for textured hair in mine. Maybe it is, I don't know. But I've actually really been loving it. So, shake this up. Spray that all over. And this step is critical because again, you need something that is going to moisturize your hair. And so what you're doing now after you put in your leave-in is you're locking this moisture in. The oil I'm using came from Morocco. It's just 100% argon oil. So I use probably about a nickel size amount of that. I get my hair cut every other week by Leslie at the Lady Clipper. I think you all already know that, but let me just say that all of the barbers there are amazing. Leslie can be booked. The last step is the cream. I usually like to use shea butter, um, but it can be any type of like natural pomade, just something that is going to make your hair lay once again. I'm using right now, um, it's called Lemon Head. It's just a whipped body butter. I usually will use a shea butter. I really like the idea of putting products um, on my skin or on my hair that I can put in my mouth. The goal for me is with my skin and body care to be as natural as possible. So now that we have our lock method, we're going to go ahead and brush that thing in. The brush I'm using is by the Lady Clipper as well. She gave me that. It's not soft, but it's also not too firm. It's not one of them where your mama used to brush your hair and make you cry. She'd be brushing all over your ears and stuff. I mean, it just, I, the level of child abuse of doing black children's hair, I, I will never understand. Because after seeing Ted Gibson at Fashion Week, like, so delicately do hair, I said, okay, so what you're telling me, Ted, is that I've gone through a level of trauma that was unnecessary getting my hair done as a child. Got it. So your hairbrush does not have to be hard as nails for it to do what needs to be done. All right, that is the finished product. I got a haircut on, um, when did I get my haircut, y'all? When... Wednesday or Thursday. It was definitely this week. So this is kind of a fresh haircut, okay? Let me get that in them baby hairs. And then obviously, for the cult, y'all, we're going to throw on this here do-rag. Now, somebody asked me why do I put on a do-rag. I don't know what happened, y'all. Just ignore that. This is a real moment. Um, someone asked me why do I put on a do-rag and a bonnet when I sleep? And it's because, girl, the way my sleep is set up, this do-rag will be off my head in like 0.2 seconds. And so at night, I do put a bonnet on top, okay? And that's the hair care, it's super simple. Um, I, y'all, went this short. I've been natural for, oh my God, probably about 
close to 20 years now. It's definitely in my early 20s. Um, so I've been natural for a long time, but I went this short after chemo because my hair started to grow back um, after losing it all. And I realized that I actually really liked it this short. And it was so easy to maintain. I honestly never even thought about letting it grow all the way back out. I dyed it blonde once. Since then, I haven't had any color in it. And this is just how I keep it. The part is kind of like the jazziness that I've been going for for probably about six months now. Uh, we'll see if it lasts. I've definitely played around with other designs before. But I just like going to the barbershop. I like feeling like my hair is put together. If you are somebody who's thinking about a big chop and going this short, this is your sign to do it. All right, so behind me, y'all, I have been working on my um, travel capsule for Greece, and I told you all that we would pack together and I would give you some tips. Let me sit down, though, finish my coffee, do a little bit of journaling, and I will come back to you, and we are going to get this rack in the suitcase. Let's get to it, y'all. Now, my biggest goals are to uh, maximize interchangeability, meaning every single thing on this rack, I want to be able to wear more than one way, um, including if it is a dress, for example, be able to wear it with sneakers or be able to wear it with heels. Number two, it goes with number one. It is to really focus on wardrobe essentials or basics. Um, I have a stunt piece or two on here, but realistically what I'm really thinking about y'all are those pieces that I can accessorize. And that leads to number three, which is to accessorize for your life. <laughs> you know, RuPaul, lip sync for your life on Drag Race. So this is what you're thinking about. Think about that, that RuPaul's voice, but it is to accessorize. So those three tips again are to focus on interchangeability. You're gonna do that with your wardrobe basics and you're gonna take those basics and you're going to accessorize for your life. Um, I've edited this down a bit and I actually may edit it down a little bit more. Um, as I mentioned to you all, we're taking a flight from Athens to Mykonos and from Santorini back to um, Athens to fly out. And so what that means is those small planes, we don't have a lot of luggage capacity. And I'm of course probably gonna shop, pick up souvenirs, etc. And so I don't want to pack my suitcase to the brim. Here is where I've gotten, however. Now, keep in mind that the weather there is going to be a little interesting. Right now it's considered um, low season and so at night, in all of the cities that we're going to be visiting. The weather's gonna be about in the 60s during the days between 70 and 80. So a very vast kind of um, gap in the temperatures. Um, and so what I'm thinking is that, let's start over here. I'm gonna want to have at least one suit for me, it is going to be the H&M suit. And the reason I'm choosing a suit is because obviously the slacks, I'm going to get so much wear out of the entire time. Crop top, t-shirt, tank top, whatever, flats, heels. And then the blazer can also be thrown over my shoulders. Um, I am bringing a belt. I'm going to tip three. It is this leather belt that I recently got from Mango. I had been, I sold my Valentino belt and I had been after the Celine belt or an Hermes Kelly belt in black. But now I'm thinking I'm actually good for this, with this for um, at least a foreseeable future. So she's leather and I love the gold buckle, so she's coming. Here's where I think I'm gonna do the most editing and it's with bottoms because I know I don't need this many. Again, the trip is for two weeks. Um, so I have one pair of jeans. This pair is probably the most comfortable and fits me the best. High-waisted from Madewell. Um, these are the ones that I'm thinking I may actually not bring because I don't know that I need denim. Lots of linen. Uh, this first pair of linen pants, they have an elastic waist. Y'all have seen these many of times. They're from Jocelyn. And then my new linen pants from Dish. These need to be steamed. These are more like a trouser fit, so I love the cut of these. One skirt, which is my Anina Bing skirt. I mean, even with something like this today and a pair of um, flat sandals, for example, or if I'm going for um, cocktails, for example, in all three of the cities, well, specifically Mykonos and Athens, there's a huge kind of like cocktail rooftop scene. The views are immaculate. And so whatever I wear during the day, I could always wear that in the evening and just change uh, my shoe to a cute little heel. 
Two other bottoms are one pair of jean shorts. I know we're going to be doing some historic sites, for example, going to see the Acropolis. So something like this with a graphic tee and a pair of sneakers probably would be the most comfortable for that. Baseball cap out the door, red lip, cute sunny. Um, and then I have my linen shorts from Another Tomorrow. I like these a whole lot, y'all. I shared these with you in my end of summer capsule. The brand sent these over to me. Because of the cut of them, they kind of flare out on the side. And I feel like for me, that gives them a dressier vibe. Um, and I actually really, really like these with a blazer. And the bandeau top from H&M. This is that bandeau top. I have it in black and white. Definitely going to bring the black because to be honest with you, this is something that I could probably get away with wearing twice before it needs to be washed. And then I got y'all a two in one with the Monroe and Sanji top. Last time I wore this, I think I was in Miami. But it is double-sided. You got the brown on one side and you have the black on the other. I love a backless moment. I think that's going to be really cute during the day. I'm bringing two scarves as we transition over to tops because I can wear these as accessories if it gets cool. But I can also wear them as shirts. And so this one is um, the kind of square handkerchief style from... Hermes. I forget the size, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm horrible about that. This is one of the first Hermes scarves that I got, and it's one of my favorites. And then you all have seen this one by Goyard. What I do with this one is I wear it as a full top, and I tie it on the bottom. So I feel like this is a great look for the wineries that we're going to visit in Santorini. Other tops, I have the ballet shirt. Y'all know I don't go anywhere without this, especially because I love it as a layering piece. It would be really cute on top of a bathing suit, for example. Um, everywhere we go, we have access to a pool or the beach, clearly. Um, Capri top by Jock Moose. I actually have been seeing this pop up again, so I will link the ones that I can find. And then, y'all know, graphic tee. This one is so soft and it has a little bit of stretch by Anina Bing. For dresses, I'm going to bring one of the two that I have by Aritzia for sure. Um, <clears throat> one of the tips I can say is as you are packing or you're thinking about a trip or you have new pieces in, start to take pictures as you put outfits together because I had done this reel and some pictures actually styling this dress up, just trying to teach people how to wear a little black dress in multiple ways. And when I went through my camera roll and I found it because I forgot I had taken it, I was like, oh my God, I love this entire vibe for the trip. So definitely bringing that. As well as, because Mykonos has a huge like beach culture vibe, so I feel like I want to be prepared in more than one way. The Ghani dress that has the low back. This is so comfortable. I am going to bring some boob tape. I actually use toupee tape um, to hold this in place because it is very side booby. And so, you know, you want to, or maybe you don't, girl, do what you choose, okay? I don't know how you pay your mortgage. But for me, I want to keep that side boob contained, okay? Here's where things get dicey, and I wish you all could talk back to me in real time because I don't know if I need all of these. But I feel like I do. Stick with me, okay? Um, this came from y Yaura Fashion. It is a black-owned British brand. I got it in a UK 12, which I think is a US 8. Um, and I love it it y'all i cannot wait for y'all to see this on um it is a top as well as a skirt the skirt fits me to a daggone t girl i'm almost six feet tall it is long enough and the top is kind of cropped so you got a little bit probably about this much or a little less of that stomach meat chef's kiss the color is amazing and can't you see this on somebody's rooftop child and mykonos or santorini i cannot wait Many people do the flying dress shoot. That's not quite me, but I feel like something like this is going to be a moment. And not to mention, when we talk about interchangeability, take this top and put it on top of any of the bottoms that I have here. Especially, once again, let's go back to... Dinner moment, a pair of flat sandals, just fresh, effortless fly. Now, the other two dresses that I don't know if I need both of these, but hey, why not? 
The first one is a dress that I actually wore in a seated video uh, probably about two weeks ago. It is my Bottega dress that I got from the Bottega outlet in Orlando. And then it has this like back hole almost. It's so hard to describe. The way it looks is it gives you a very low back and a little side boob as well. So this is definitely coming because she doesn't get enough wear. And I think she's going to be delicious with a pair of silver shoes and my silver um, coach bag. And so definitely going to bring her. I think brown and silver is going to be a moment for me this trip. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring her. I'm going to bring her. This is my Rat and Boa dress. By the way, at the time of me filming this, Rat and Boa is having a flash sale. I hope uh, someone was able to catch it. This one is no longer available, but they do have a zebra one that is the same exact vibe. Now, <clears throat> a black bikini underneath. I, I actually wear this with some pasties and um, some black bloomers. So for me, it's a vibe. Day, night, beach, no beach. But beach clubs, M Mykonos, Having a little cocktail as the breeze just flows through my hair, girl. Speaking of hair, I didn't show you all the finished product. Um, but yes, I think, and, and again, this is stuff that's so lightweight. I mean, it will take up no space in my suitcase, so I feel like I might as well bring it. I have swimsuits for days. I'm only going to talk about some of the new end pieces. That is the only new thing that I got for this trip was swimsuit cover-ups. And I got a black bikini that may or may not be here from ASOS. So we'll see. Um, it is currently in the mail. But the first thing I got is from Revolve. It's by a brand called Super Down. It's this crochet high-waisted skirt that has some stretch to it, which I love. It is super duper sexy. I'm going to wear this with a um, white bikini top, y'all and a high-waisted bikini bottom. I also have a low-waist bikini bottom, so we'll see which one I like the most. I got uh, the bikini top from um, a little gift shop at the Dreams Resort in Punta Cana, and I got the high-waisted bottom if I wear that from Amazon. And then for my favorite piece, probably, of the entire trip, y'all, is this, and this looks like nothing here. It is a halter dress. It is crochet. Some of the panels are thicker than others as far as the weave is concerned. So it gives this really cool illusion effect on the body. And girl, it is stretchy. This is a small, uh, the other piece is a large. I, I mean, they're both largest. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. They're both largest. Um, I feel like for a cover up, Revolve did their damn thing with this. This brand is called NBD, which I've heard of before. They do great basics. And so, yeah, I'm definitely a fan of them now. Um, this was a little bit more than I would have wanted to spend. Probably, probably I have ever spent on a cover-up because most of mine do come from H&M, Amazon, etc. But I can see why this was the price that it was. I would even put on a little pasty situation and some bloomers and be out the door with this. Like, this is giving. Then we have the Fee Noel by Tarjay line. This is the top, y'all, in a medium. I ordered the bottom in a large and it was too big. Um, so I sent that back and by the time I sent it back, it wasn't enough time to get the medium. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is wear this with my Andrea Iyama bottom. And the Andrea Iyama two-piece is here. So this is the bottom. I love the fact that accidentally it actually matches. And I can also wear it, of course, with the top that it came with. If she had this style in more colors, I would get it. I got a large in the bottom and a medium in the top. I love the way that the top kind of, it has underwire, it gives your boobs great lift, it crisscrosses and also the straps are adjustable. And then it has three rings in the back. And so, I'm gonna wear this on the day that we are doing the island tour in Santorini because I feel like it's probably my swimsuit that gives me the most kind of, like I'm sucked into this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It gives me the most coverage. And so as we're swimming, having a good time, um, I don't know why I said that because I cannot swim, but as we're frolicking in the water and having a good time, I feel like, you know, nothing is going to just jump out, okay? It's not giving only fans. We are in the back corner of the closet um, y'all, I want to bring every single one. 
I'm not even gonna lie to you. I won't hold you. Um, but again, space limitations. And I'll let you all into a little secret. Uh, stay tuned because my goal is to grab a new Loewe bag while I am in Mykonos. Specifically because we know that the Loewe puzzle is being phased out in this iteration. And the second gen is going to the Loewe edge, which is going to be missing those kind of seams there. I love this version. And so if I can, I want to find this version in a smaller size. And so from that perspective, I also don't need a whole lot of bags. But you know, you got to hit the ass with the heat sometime when it comes down to your handbags. I'm sorry. I love a good stunt. Quiet luxury hoop, okay? So we're definitely going to go with the Coach Tabby. Um, it also has, do I have it inside? A crossbody strap. Who knows where it is right now <laughs> let me go ahead and put this on the inside because that's not how i'm gonna travel with it y'all i did not have this in a dust bag and it was kind of up against a pair of shoes and look what i did to it this is leather she told us that this is leather y'all so be careful with it um, so gonna bring this. I'm looking over here and thinking that because my also my Loewe seat buckle mules have a silver buckle, this would also be good for like going out at night in general. So gonna bring her. Um, would love, would love to bring her. I just don't know that I have a huge use for it. I do think wearing the scarf, this makes for an impeccable moment. Like nobody asked for it, but you jump out with that go your scarf as a top and you just, you know, doing a little shopping. Hey girl, you know, just do a little stunt. But then what I love, 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 lo I love, love, love Tanika B. I love this. Cause I think it makes something very casual feel intentional, right? So then do I need both of these? I, I mean, they serve different purposes, so maybe I do. I don't know. Oh, no, you know, sorry y'all, camera died. But as you saw from my excitement, this is actually, I'm gonna use this as a toiletry bag. So again, we're trying to kill two birds and one stone. So therefore I can bring this because it will have an alternative use, okay? So that means I do feel good about bringing Mama Goyard. This is the going out bag. And then I think what I'm going to do as far as what I am wearing day to day out and about is either going to be this bag by Quince, which is black. I feel like it's going to go with the majority of what I bring, or it is going to be my Loewe Bay puzzle. Um, I just love how slouchy it is. I love this back pocket. I'm leaning towards this actually. Um, I don't exactly know why, but I feel like I miss her and she doesn't get enough wear. We'll see. Now I do want to bring a tote. I mentioned the beach a lot to you. I think it's going to be the Brahmin tote. I forget the name of this, but it comes in multiple versions. I love the fact that it's leather lined and it has feet on the bottom. I just see us going to like a beach club or bar, throwing some water in here, some snacks, a towel, and going about our business. And I think this is really the test for this, y'all. Yeah. I can lay it flat in my suit suitcase and so I'm gonna bring this or this actually may be it might be my tote for the plane maybe I can do that yeah because this is gonna fit my laptop everything I need and it'll also fit underneath the seat in front of me so maybe this is what that's gonna be yeah um and then I have my tote also for obviously the beach etc so uh, that is the bags I know I feel confident about this, about this. This serves no purpose besides maybe one or two looks, but I've been so disciplined until I feel like I gotta bring her. <laughs> and then the everyday bag, I'm undecided, but it will be in between one of these two. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put all of this stuff in my packing cubes. I grabbed these from a variety of places. Target, Amazon once again. Who knows where I have collected these over the years. Um, some probably came with suitcases as well. 
So go ahead and pack those items now because I really like the idea of having things organized. That's that type A in me. I have a Samsonite suitcase that I will link down below that also allows for me to hang items. And I'm thinking about that as well so I can make sure that when I get to where we're going, I literally just take all my hangers out and bam, hang things up and I am good. So everything else, swimwear, nightwear, etc., cetera, uh, loungewear will be in a packing cube. Let's get to it. Because my boyfriend actually is picking up my laundry that I had to go get washed because I don't even have time for that. So we won't literally pack the bags, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm packing for Paris. Um, outfits that I already have planned. Y'all, I tend to pack a lot of accessories because I do want to accessorize all of these basic pieces. But I think I'm going to actually tailor it back just a little bit. They're still going to be bold. But we don't need the full gamut, especially because what I'm going to try to do is wear as much as I can as I feel comfortable with on the plane. So I'm not packing as much. Uh, but these pieces are going to be in one second. A roll-on also by Samsonite. I think this came from Kohl's, actually. We just got that. Um, but my bags, jewelry, makeup will be in there. And what I'm going to pack is this little small jewelry case by Coach. I love Coach's SLGs, Small Leather Goods, by the way. Um, I have the earrings from Zara here because I need a like a gold drop situation. Have my ring that you all saw by Ermin. The Bottega inspired earrings from Amazon. And then when I'm wearing my hoops, gonna travel with these. I could definitely wear the Dior necklace and the Nature, the label. I could definitely go ham with the necklaces and like bring every single one. And it's just not necessary, honestly. It's too much. <clears throat> I think with what I have, I'm still gonna serve a look for sure, especially because both of these pairs of earrings are statement jewelry and then the hoops are oversized as well. Um, I'm going to wear my free maiden cuffs as well as my Cartier Just Unclue on the plane. Probably also my free maiden, um, what's it called y'all? Charm bracelet, I think? Let me show you. It's called... I don't know what Roshana calls it. I don't think she's produced it in a while, but whenever she has produced it, I've let you all know. Maybe it's called the Armani. I think it's called the Armani. It is this one, which I always tell you about when there is a new drop. And so, again, this is a talking piece. People literally are like, where is that from? Let me see that bracelet. So I feel like it's going to be something good to spice up a look. This with probably like one or two cuffs, I think is going to do more than what needs to be done. And then I just put on the pinky ring that is by Nanine. Well, I got it from Nanine. I don't know the brand, okay? Still plugging away. I got my first um, packing cube of swimwear done and have my shoes on the inside of the suitcase. Let's keep going. I'll take 45. I can figure out the other five when I get there. Next stop, Greece. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know about you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Seems like the world's getting cold. Like the whole world's on my shoulders. Okay. Trying to be the best I can be. Might cry, but no fold. No Cause they don't know the purpose in me. Mm -hmm. All the strength that I'm holding. We made it to Athens. Uh, the neighborhood is called the Piri neighborhood. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm sure. No, I think that is the neighborhood. 
just have the location on the screen, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, we can't check into our Airbnb yet. They allowed us to store our luggage and to change. So I'm just wearing this little Amazon linen set and my St. Bart's. Um, a lot something comfortable and I couldn't tell the weather so I also grabbed my um, faux leather moto so here's where we are for lunch. it's called Atlanta Coast they have all of this grilled seafood let me show y'all the menu I'm definitely getting the sea bass although we googled this and that looks amazing the prices are affordable and look how much a half bottle of wine is. Just leaving uh, lunch, I guess it's a late lunch. I don't even know what time it is here, y'all. We are six or seven hours ahead. Was the food fresh? Yes. Was it tasty? Mm, not so much. I also realize that, you know, Americans and black Americans at that tend to over-season food. And so, I mean, a little bit of law reason never hurt nobody, but I'm sure they did not have that in the bag. And so, some salt, some pepper, a little morsel would have done a whole lot. Uh, nevertheless, it was a good first meal because, again, it was fresh. The fish was delicious. Don't know if I would recommend it, but it's a neighborhood spot. Now we're going to go. We'll just do a little bit of sightseeing. Something like a certified soldier It's okay That they don't understand yeah. They don't know They don't know we have had a very eventful day. We were out and about all day, just honestly trying to stay awake. So it is about a quarter after eight right now. We went, we did some shopping, we had lunch. I had to get a pair of shoes because my feet girl, I almost fell. Well, I actually did fall and I was told that I had to get a pair of sneakers because the Steve Maddens weren't providing the proper um, support at a big age. And so my stability was a little bit off. And so I got a new pair of Sambas, which I think are a vibe. And right now we are finally in the Airbnb. And this right over here, y'all, is the Acropolis, which is so dope. I will show you the view from the balcony. <laughs> I'm so impressed by our provisions. We have several different types of cookies, some biscuits. <laughs> it's, our, it's our provisions, shut up. Uh, coffee, we got a teapot over there. Oh wait, y'all look at this. In the freezer, we were left. Look at this. Oh. I have a sweet tooth, but I already had dessert, so I'm excited to try this tomorrow. And then look at this refrigerator, y'all. Oh my gosh. We have some jelly, we have milk, we have orange juice, plenty of water, a bottle of, it says Merlot, but maybe that means rose, I'm not sure. We have actually two bottles of wine. I think this is a fig. I have no idea. Grapes, peaches, plums, and sodas, including sparkling water. Good morning. It is a day two in Athens, and it is coffee time. Before we get there, though, I am going to step back and show you the living room area of the Airbnb because it is lovely. So you saw the view yesterday. The place has two balconies. There is one behind me here. Ooh, this is huge. Actually, I didn't realize that this is where the drying rack is. It's no dryer, but there is a washer here. And then this is my bedroom. Here is the view from this balcony. I am on this, oh, look, it's a school down there. Um, I am on the sixth floor. Okay, so from this balcony, this is the vibe. You got your desk here. 
I showed you the fridge. This is the full kitchen. This is the door that you enter the apartment. They really thought of everything from umbrellas to hats. Plenty of snacks. Two bottles of wine. That's the red bottle that I broke open last night. A telescope. We couldn't figure out how to make that work. <laughs> the couch is pretty comfortable and I think it actually expands to a bed. Um, my friends Leslie and Jasmine are coming and they'll just be here for a few hours so they're probably going to sleep here. Today we are going to do the hop on, hop off bus. Uh, we're going to get actually tickets for two days, which we're excited about because that will allow for us to see different parts of the city. I mean, we're going to kind of use it as transportation, honestly, so we don't have to worry about cabs. And they have a few Ubers here or ride shares. They use an app called iMove, but it's just like it makes more sense to do the hop on, hop off bus because of the hours that it runs. We also have dinner tonight at a Michelin star restaurant called CTC Gastronomy. So we have a day ahead of of us let's get going um i was trying to film yesterday on my work phone i have two iphones and unfortunately the second phone just kind of gave up on me it didn't get wet it turned off and then now i can't get it to come back on um, part of me wants to take it to a repair shop while i'm here but the other part of me just does not feel like being bothered um, it just feels like too much problem solving on vacation. So thank God I have two phones and I also have this camera. So we will see. Um, what's most important to me is to vlog, not to necessarily shoot. And that's what that second iPhone is good for. It has the best camera. Nevertheless, let's go get some coffee and get our day started. Just came back from breakfast. 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 <laughs> uh, the spot we went to was a vibe indeed. Uh, menu was a little deceiving, but once we got together, the food was good. Um, and it's interesting because Greece or Athens has a breakfast culture for sure. Like everybody was out. It is a Wednesday morning and you would have thought it was like brunch on the weekends. Um, now we are likely in an area that does have a good amount of tourists. So that's probably why, but also things were just like really hustling and bustling at like 8 30. Um, and so, and that's probably also because people, restaurants, etc., shops, they close briefly and then they open up in the evening but now we are about to go and hop on the bus so we can go check out a couple neighborhoods i wanted to be comfortable but at the same time cute on my face is no makeup it's just a tinted sunscreen put on a red lip by the lip bar i am wearing new lashes y'all they're more natural i like that but they also are a beast to put on so i don't know how much use these are going to have this vacation i'll be honest because i'm not spending an hour putting on lashes okay if you're that close to my face pay a bill now here's the LOTD let me back up a Ritzia dress I don't like this hold on I wish I had my um tripod Maybe this is good. It's better. All right, I am wearing a dress by Aritzia. Y'all have seen this so many times. Get ready to see it many, many more. The weather is very interesting. It definitely heats up in the middle of the day, but this morning it was actually super cool. So I'm gonna bring the H&M linen blazer on my feet are the Jordans. This is probably a better place to see me. I'm also super far away, so we'll see. That's the vibe. Bye. See you outside.
we are out at the Acropolis area. It's almost like a complex. It's a couple different like structures here. Um, don't get me to lying about what they're called because I am not a Greek mythologist. Um, however, it is absolutely stunning. The line to get into the Acropolis was given, we will have to come back another day. It's definitely giving another day. Um, it probably was about a two hour wait, but it's also in the middle of the day, so I completely understand that. Um, let me stop walking and talking because I know it's probably giving you a little bit of, of vertigo. I was about to say bit of like <laughs> But <laughs> um, we are about to hop back on the bus, see a couple other neighborhoods, go home, rest, and get ready for dinner tonight. Really quick check in y'all. We had a great time earlier today on the hop on hop off bus. And I will tell you all about that tomorrow, but right now we are rushing to CTC Urban Gastronomy for our dinner reservation. I'll see you there. Yesterday, as you saw, we were on the hop on, hop off bus. We chose the red bus. Um, if you are coming to Greece and you're using this vlog for inspiration or for recommendations, I would actually get the yellow or the blue bus. Um, those buses seem to have been a little bit more frequent, but they all kind of make the same loop. So, and the prices are similar. We paid 35 euro for two days. So we rode it to two locations. Um, one was the Acropolis that had a couple other historic sites, including the Acropolis Museum. We flew the drone a little bit, and then we left there, and we uh, rode it to a neighborhood called Plaka, P-L-A-K-A, -A, I think. Um, and that is where we had the most amazing cocktails and lunch at a spot called the bar in front of the bar. If you were interested in just kind of like running up on a vibe, I feel like Athens is good for that. There are all these really cool restaurants and bars and places that we keep writing down saying that we want to come back to. But really you could just stroll outside and it feels really safe here. We haven't had any issues walking at night. So after the bar in front of the bar, um, we just walked around different neighborhoods, went into another bar called Brito, which the ambiance and the scenery was amazing. Drinks were okay, maybe a five out of 10. Um, not as good as the bar in front of the bar. I highly recommend that. And then we made our way um, back here. So we came home and then we made our way to CTC Urban Gastronomy. And y'all, I really wish I would have brought my camera last night. I only had my phone. I didn't, I, I didn't have my burner phone because my trap phone is the one that has the best camera, like I told y'all, but it's not coming on. Um, and so I only had my OG, triple OG, and I know that the footage is not going to be wonderful. It's not going to be as crisp and clear as I really want it to be, but you have to understand what that experience was like. And for me, it wasn't just the food, it was the actual experience. Just the wait staff alone, like you would put something down and before it touched the table, if it was empty, it was already gone and you didn't even see the wait staff. Like it was so stealth. I have never experienced anything like it. And our table was served by at least four people. Um, and everything just kept coming out, coming out, coming out. I chose the wine pairing to go along with my meal and it is an 11 course meal. Um, the dishes change and so, you know, you get there, you tell them if you have any food allergies, etc., And basically the chef curates an experience for you and the menu changes seasonally. Um, not every single course was my favorite, but every single course came out with amazing presentation. And they do this thing here where what something looks like is not what it tastes like. So for example, we had this dish that looked like squid, but it was actually um, fava beans. Uh, the dessert looked like an avocado, but it was actually some sort of mousse with coconut. 
um, with like these cookie crumbles surrounding it. I have a bad sweet tooth, y'all. And so what also blew my mind is as we were leaving, they handed us the menu. It's a Michelin star restaurant. So I think they just wanna make sure that you have a memory of the experience. So they handed us the menu and then they, I don't know, they said something and I just still wasn't understanding it. But then she was like, no, this is for you. Literally pulled a stick out of what looked like dirt, but it was cookie crumbs. And it was like ice cream on a stick. It was um, lemon ice cream stuff with raspberry on a stick. And that's like your parting treat as you leave. I've eaten at other Michelin star restaurants. They fail. They fail. I'm telling you right now, they fail in comparison. Um, because everything about that was amazing. And for it to have been Michelin star, I think in the States it would have been twice the price. Here it was, uh, one moment, I'm, I'm going to tell you. For the 11 course meal, it was 95 euro. Um, and then the wine pairing was 60 euro. And all the wines came from Greece. And they were all kind of like these um, really funky flavors. Like for example, one smelled just like honey. Didn't taste like honey, but it smelled like honey. It was kind of tannic. That was amazing. One was unfiltered. And so you could taste the fruit very strong. And then one, my favorite, had like a tomato vibe to it and they served that with pasta. It was an experience. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And then we tried to go to another bar, another bus, another bus, no sleep. <laughs> A la Gaga. Um, but by the time we got there, the music wasn't, it wasn't a vibe. And that's the thing, y'all, everywhere we've gone, it's been so interesting. We have not seen a lot of racial diversity. However, we have only heard black American music. We're not complaining, but I find that to be very interesting. That it's, the culture is just everywhere. The people are lacking. Um, and so, yeah, like you just walk into like a whole vibe, a whole turn up, and it'll be like 90s hip hop. Like something that you would think would be so obscure here. Um, it's playing in the background at like a bar or a restaurant. So we had heard that on our way to dinner. By the time we went back, we got there around midnight, the vibe had changed. And so we were like, okay, that's our sign. It's just time to go home. Thankfully we did because we overslept this morning. So I can only imagine um, if we had actually gone out, out what time we would have woken up, girl. Um, so we are finally up, going to go and get some coffee after my coke. Hopefully that will help. Stay tuned. We are off to a, a completely different part of the city. It's about 25, 30 minutes away. So I am excited to see it. Let's spend day, who knows girl, it's going to be a lot of days. <laughs> Let's spend day whatever together. Um, but as I told you all, um, this vlog specifically was the kind of get ready with me for Greece to Athens. So we're going to end this vlog um, tomorrow or today. And then we're going to pick back up in Mykonos. But we still got more Athens. Let's go. We came back to Picky for breakfast. Really, I just got a protein bar that's homemade. It's actually delicious with pistachio. And I also got a latte. Let me share. Oh, somebody was coming out the door. Let me share with you my OOTD. Glasses are by Fendi. You all already know the jewelry. My top is the Monroe Steel and Something by Sanji Collection. You all would have saw me pack this. It is double-sided, so great for travel. Get a two-for-one. It is backless. My bag is the Loewe Puzzle that I told you all I was trying to figure out whether or not to bring. I brought it and I'm happy I did. My pants are linen. They are by Jocelyn Studio. And then on my feet are the Steve Madden Knox slides. These are meant to be Dior dupes. I'll try to get a full body at some point today if I can, but it's so easy, y'all. It's just comfortable. The weather is beautiful here. And after grabbing a bite, we're actually gonna walk over to the bus station and head down to the Riviera. We are at Lake Vulag Mini, um, which is along the Athenian Riviera, which is like a suburb of Athens. It is 
spectacular. It is actually a thermal spa, so the water is heated, and there are small fish in the water that like eat off all of your dead skin. I know that probably sounds terrible, but hopefully it feels great. I am just wearing a Victoria's Secret bikini. This is old, it's an asymmetrical top with a high-waisted bottom, and y'all saw this cover up. It is from Express. I'm about to go enjoy. Okay, I lied. This water is actually not warm. It is so cold. I'm gonna show you all these little fish. And I'm gonna, I'm the adventurous type. But the second one of them came over to my side, it's something about seeing it and knowing what it is. It freaked me out. It's not for me. It is cocktail o'clock. I feel like all y'all have really saw me doing this vlog is journey. But that's essentially all I do on vacation. So, cheers. All right, so uh, we went down to Vlog Mini, to the lake. We have got to, got to, got to go. And we just stumbled upon it, y'all. We had um, a couch, and that was 95 euro. Then they come out and they serve you. So we had some champagne, a couple bites to eat, and all the little fish y'all saw swam up to get all the like dead skin off you. I couldn't handle it. I don't have it in me. Um, and so we thought we were actually coming to another like shopping area, which it is, as you can see, there's a Zara here, H&M, but not where the vibe is. So we're actually about to get back in a cab and head back in that direction and uh, see what the Riviera is given. There's supposed to be also more shopping there that we were actually looking for here. So the day's still going, this vacation, we'll see what we get into. Oh, and y'all will see Leslie and Jasmine soon. Leslie, are you in the vlog? Um, born in the vlog. Born in the vlog. Born here. I belong here. <laughs> the vlog is me and I am the vlog. <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome to Athens. Hey, hey, that wraps up the first Greece vlog. Had a great time last night just vibing out in the neighborhood with Leslie and Jasmine and the rest of the crew. And now we are headed out to Mykonos. So stay tuned for part two. We'll be in Mykonos and we'll be in Santorini. Bye.